guys, this video is going to show you how to use Google Docs to create an assignment on Google Classroom. Um, so when I create assignments using Google Docs, I like to be the one who assigns like a template. And the reason that I like that is that it saves students a step. Um, like they don't have to figure out how to upload their own personally created documents onto Google Classroom. The naming is consistent. Um, I like that I can monitor their process because I can have it like I can have access to the document while they're currently editing it. That's really nice. Um, I found out from another teacher. I've never done this, but um, if you open up Google Classroom on a tablet or on your mobile phone, it will and you can like pull up the students Google Doc. If you've assigned it from Google Classroom, you can write on it, physically write on it um, with your, you know, electronically write on it. And it will like upload it as a PDF to the student, like with your feedback. So they have their original document and then they have your separate document and you haven't like messed with their personal document. So this is how you would go about creating it. And I'm going to focus on how to do that assignment um, using the template that you've created because the other one um, is simpler to do. You just create an assignment and tell them to upload it and turn it in. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to hit add assignment. I'm going to choose which students I want to assign it to. Um, I'm going to call this test Google doc assignment. Okay. Set your due dates. Um, set your topic. I always use topics. It helps keep it sorted for students. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I am going to choose, see if I even have one. Um, oh, here's one that I've done recently. Okay. So I'm going to choose the assignment that I want students to do. So I'm going to click on the doc and hit add. Um, I want to make a copy for each student. By the way, you can assign one doc that your entire class can collaborate on if you wanted to do that. I don't, obviously I don't want to do that because I like students to do their individual work, but if you wanted like a platform for collaboration, that is one that you could use. And then I'm going to hit assign. Um, and I want to just show you the beautiful part about this. I don't have more than one student in this test class, so I can't quite show you the fullness of what it does, but it's very cool. Okay, I'm going to click on the assignment. I'm going to hit view assignment. And I can, oh man, I might have to open it as the test student. Um, give me just a second. I'll be right back. Nope, never mind. It just took a second to load. So here it is. So what it does is, it will gather all of your students in one spot. So it's going to list all your students here. It'll give you a spot to grade them, but it'll also show you all of their work while it's in progress. So you can literally see them editing the doc as they go. Okay. Um, so even if they haven't turned it in, it's going to show up like this when you click on it. So you can, if you click up here, it'll like, it'll be a drop down menu of all your students. It'll show you who has turned it in, who hasn't turned it in. Um, so this student has not turned it in, obviously. But I will see like exactly what they've done so far. Okay, and then um, I can right here type in the grade. I just want to move this for a moment. Get out of the way. Oh, there's two of me now. I didn't know that happened. All right. Um, <laughs> learning all kinds of things about Screencastify. Okay, so I could type in the grade. I can add a private comment. Um, I do believe that you, I've never used this, but you can add to a comment bank, like this looks great, nice job, okay? And then, Okay, so then um, I can just quickly have that comment bank. I don't know um, that I use. I've never used the comment bank, but there it is anyway. I'll have to make a separate video when I figure that one out. Um, but then I can type a 
comment on the doc. Close the comment. And then I can return it right here to them. Um, and then it will automatically update right here. So um, that is how it looks when you assign and when, I don't know why this thing is glitching out, but um, when you assign and collect assignments on Google Docs. So lots of benefits.